morning everyone and how are you today? Welcome to your geography lesson this week. Okay, before we begin, quick recap. I want you to match the symbol to the correct weather phrase. Okay, so I have this one. I can't tell you what they are. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And then I have the words sunny, snow showers, heavy rain, thundery shower, cloudy. Pause the video here. You've got this on your worksheet. Match them up now for me. Okay, welcome back. Shall we see if you got them right? So I'm going to show you now which ones are correct. Oh, goodness. There we go. So that one was sunny. Did you get that one? Brilliant. Then we have snow showers. That was that one. Heavy rains over there. Thundery showers is there. And the last one is cloudy. How did you get on with that? Did you get them all right? Oh, brilliant. You're so good at this year one. Fantastic. So today, now we've been thinking quite a lot about different types of weather in the UK, haven't we? And we've also been doing that in English this week as well, which has been absolutely fantastic. But now we're going to do a little bit of a comparison. We're going to compare weather in the UK to other parts of the world. Oh, I know, amazing. Okay, <clears throat> let me move my video here. So, where in the world are we? So, have a look at this map, and I want you to see, can you spot the UK? All right, point to it now. Keep your finger there, but don't pause the video. Let me see if you are correct. My video start. hold on. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why my arrow didn't work. There, we are there, aren't we? This is the UK here. And you can see it there, it says United Kingdom. Brilliant. Okay then, now, can you find the United Kingdom though on this map? This is a map of the world. And these here are our continents, okay? So our continents are North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. So these are our seven continents, and we are in one of those continents. Can you spot us? Pause the video, have a good look. Did you find us? We are in the continent of Europe. Mm, I wonder if you spotted us. We are just there. Did you see us? Fantastic. That's where the UK is. The United Kingdom is in Europe. All right then. Now, can you remember what season are we in now? Spring, summer, autumn or winter? Brilliant. We are in winter right now. It's been really snowy, hasn't it, as well? Which is definitely the right kind of weather that we'd have in winter. The appropriate weather to have in winter. Brilliant. Now, having a think, put my video up there now. So thinking about our country, we're up here in Europe. Hmm. I wonder then, what do you think the weather might be? So we're here. Might be in Hungary. That's in Europe. I wonder what the weather might be like in Kenya. That's in Africa. I wonder what the weather might be like in North Alaska. That's in North America. Hmm. What do you think the weather might be like in these different places? Different places across the world. Pause the video here. Have a chat to the person in the room. What did you decide? Hmm. Shall we see? So that's Kenya there. There's Hungary. There's North Alaska. So in the current climate, let's think about autumn, for example. In autumn in the UK, it's often cool, but sometimes cold. Sometimes it's bright and sunny, but often it's cloudy, isn't it? And often it's wet and windy. All the leaves come down off the trees. It becomes quite grey and dark in the skies. It gets darker earlier as well, doesn't it? And it, it can be a little bit cold. You definitely need to wear hats. And sometimes in the morning when you come to school, hats, gloves and scarf, we need all of that on. But then in the afternoon, you might not need your coat on. It depends. So I wonder, I wonder what it's like in North America. Oh, sorry, North Alaska. I wonder what it's like as well in Kenya. Hmm. I wonder if it's the same or if it's different. I think it's hotter or colder. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Should we find out? Okay, let's find out. 
So this is hungry in the autumn. What do you notice about hungry in the autumn? Pause the video here. Talk about those pictures. Welcome back. What did you notice? Well, do you know what I saw? Over here, where's the, where the tram is, it's splashing a lot of water. So that's telling me, that's giving me a clue that it's very wet in autumn. I think it rains a lot. <gasps> that's the same as here, isn't it? Ah, yes. And here, ah, look, that man, he's wearing a scarf and they've got their coats on. So it can't be very warm. Maybe it's a roughly around the same temperature as it is in the UK. And here, the sun doesn't look like it's really brightly shining down. You know, like how it brightly shines down in the summer. It looks like it's lower in the sky. And if I look at the leaves as well, they are starting to turn like a greeny yellow colour. That's the same as here, isn't it? That happens. Now, if I have a look at this picture, oh, that is a beautiful river. That's the River Danube. It's gorgeous. If I look at the um, trees here, some of them haven't got any leaves on. Ah, now that is just like how it is in our country. Mm, did you notice those things too? Brilliant. Okay. So this is Northern Alaska in autumn. What do you notice here? Pause the video. Have a look. What did you notice? Well, there's loads of difference here. I can see lots of snow and ice. That's the main thing I can see. Here, it looks like the river is frozen. To freeze a river, it must be very, very, very cold. And here, it's quite dark in the sky, isn't it? And there seems to be a lot of snow on that um, airfield there. I don't think that plane's going to be taken off today, do you? And here, if I look out into the water, lots of ice and icebergs in the water. Hmm, what clues is that giving me? Clues it is giving me is that it must be cold. Do you think colder than our country or not? Yes, it is. It must be colder than our country because we don't have ice and snow like that in autumn. Maybe in winter, but not in autumn. Okay. This is Kenya. Oh, this looks different, doesn't it? Pause the video here. Have a chat about these pictures. What did you notice? Do you know what? The first thing that struck my eye was the green, lush trees. <gasps> Our trees in autumn time are turning orange and reds and yellows and light greens. Here, the trees are really green and lush. That clue is telling me it must be really sunny. The sun is giving out lots and lots and lots of rays and therefore the leaves are getting lots and lots of food from the sun. Mm, this weather down here looks beautiful. Not fully sunny, but it looks like light cloud, not rainy cloud, not dark grey skies. Almost like in summer. Mm. And here I notice that it looks very Oh, dry perhaps along the riverbed. That's telling me it's very warm. That's telling me that the sun is soaking up and evaporating the water from the riverbed. It's giving me the clue that it's quite hot. Did you get those things too? Okay. Oh, my face is right in the middle there. <laughs> okay. So hungry in the, uh, in the autumn weather is very similar to the UK. It's cool, it's wet and it's windy. And we said that, didn't we? They were very similar. However, northern Alaska's autumn weather is freezing. It snows very often. And we said it was dark, didn't we? And it does get very dark early, like our winter. But in autumn in Kenya, it's very sunny and dry. It rains heavily in November, filling lakes and rivers. And But even in the rainy season, it's still very, very hot. So we saw very different weathers, but in the same season there. Now, what do you notice about the location of these three countries? What can you see there? Northern Alaska's up here, Hungary is here, and Kenya is there. What do you notice? Hmm, okay. <laughs> so Northern Alaska is in the north 
near the top of the map. It's really north. It's probably one of the most northern parts of the world. But Hungary is further south. It's not in the south. It's further south than northern Alaska. And Kenya's in the middle of the map. Now, countries near the top and the bottom of the map have very cold very cold weather because they are near the North and the South Pole. Have you heard of those before? Who lives in the North Pole? <laughs> yes. Now countries in the middle, they have hot weather, okay? So they have much warmer, hot weather. So what I wanted to show you was this. Now imagine, I'm going to show you my board here. Imagine this is the world, this is the earth, okay? And we have the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere. So at the top of the northern hemisphere, we have the North Pole. And at the bottom of the southern hemisphere, we have the South Pole. Now here and here, it's very cold. And as we get to the middle, we get to this line here. That's called the equator. Can you say that? The equator. Now, the countries that live near the equator have hot weather all year round. That means it's always very, very warm there. But the countries that live further, are situated further to the top by the North Pole and further to the bottom by the South Pole are much colder. OK, so that's something that we're going to be looking at as well. The equator, the North Pole and the South Pole and where countries are situated. All right. Now, you have got a task to do, which I would love you to go and have a go at now, year one. I've thoroughly enjoyed working with you today on your geography, and you have been fantastic with your weather report as well this week. You enjoy your lesson today, enjoy doing your work, and you take care now, and I shall see you very soon.